Are we happy to be in the house of the Lord this morning? Let's get up and praise the Lord.
my sadness into gladness. You turn my sorrow into joy. And now I'm singing and I'm dancing. And I will shout for joy. You turn.
Mwana gange nze imachile tutu sinza. Nzeo kwa ujuli zikuwa umu anono. Yali tatambula. Yavaa gulu na agwa na amenyeka. Na afu kamila wansita ya kuwa umu tuwe. Nalima inti mwana mulala ya gude. Nena gendo fulu manga mutamani wange ya gude. Nenva ayo ne musula ne mutu wale mulago. Nenva ngamba. Tumwana wakusamu vyu mamunda. Bamulongo oso kuguru. Ne muga manedja, wali yaba pasi sawa sawa roko la chi, oksawa bana ne ba, omuntu a amenye sana wona. Doctor, nanga manchi, omana ino longo sivua nenga na nakati kwa no esimu je yali akute munga, nanga mbwa mama, wili zaba pasi sawa gembe wa kwa la chi, wa sawa tu kiri zee, ndi akusumu wa nko la chi, umpone. Ila ne tu genda wewe tu fio, tu ali mudua ali pasi sawa gembe na dia, boya dia. Nse nali simulabia mwana na ngama mama pasta bugembe uyu. Mwaya malo tu sabida na amu sabida na amu teka kwa mkono na amu gambo jia kuona. Netu kiliza. Na agenda kubalala. Nse nye sigala nga nzikiza nchi mwana nga jia kuona. Pasta bugembe uku mkwa atako kola chio kusama. Eda wagendo keda kumachia. Niba mjia kechite minti. Na atambula. Alivulu unji. Nye chifuba chivali bagama mbo bagenda chi nti chifunda. Kia mara ni chukula chi, ni chukuna. Echitiba nete no nchumubiza. We bless the name of the Lord for today. Thank you so much for the testimony, the beautiful things the Lord is doing to us here at the worship house. You are most welcome. Let us appreciate God so much for what he is doing. It is so much amazing that you are seated with us here today. Those watching us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, thank you for following and thank you for always and always loading your data and following to our very first time visitors you are most welcome if you don't have a church to call your home church worship house is wide open for you feel at jesus i just want to thank god for yesterday people came here you flooded this place to come and give in the house of the lord but i just have one question do you know what the bible talks about the sowers have you ever read about a scripture that talks about sowing in Galatians 6, 7, what does the Bible talk about those who sow? The timer starts now. Tell it to your neighbor. Welcome back from that session. What did the neighbor tell you? Did they read for you the scripture? Did they just get it from their heads? Yes, whatever they did is right. But the Bible tells us in Galatians 6, 7, that be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap. Buryeya sizze sent, kuzimbira mukame nyumba, agenda kuzimbobula mubo mulingiria yesu. God bless you. Salvation is a free gift that the Lord gave to us when he came on this earth. So, just receive Jesus. Just receive Jesus. Just receive Jesus. Today is the hour. Today is the time. You, we are going to repeat these words after me. If you have never ever given your life to Christ, Gatolo kokanga, todanga mubi gamba wino, wadengo bado sabida mkanisa zaba lokole, nenga tolo kokanga, toya tulanga blokozi. This is the hour. We are going to repeat these words after me. We are going to say that, Dear Lord Jesus, I give you my life. Write my name in the book of life and give me life again. Forgive all my iniquities and make me whole again. In Jesus' name, amen. Right now you're born again. Every Thursday at 4 p.m. we are always here learning about this journey of salvation, what we call the discipleship classes. So make it a point to come at 4 p.m. And in case you, 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 you don't know more, you want to learn more, 
you can inquire from the Connect Center. Make sure you even write your name there, register. We shall give you a call, remind you of the discipleship classes. And I believe your life is not going to remain the same. Yes, the Bible tells us never to stop doing good. Keep doing good. Yesterday you did us so good. You built the house of the Lord. However, we still need to give. And I just request you to prepare your tithes, prepare your offering as we are going to give. Make sure you get it ready. The ushers are all over in the corridors. It is David family serving. I belong to David family. Family affair. Whereas ushers are everywhere. They are having the envelopes and we are smart you see <laughs> make your envelope if at all you are going to pay your tithe again the oxasule chimu cheche coming we did a dembo kwani kom konogo bakuwe e basa ba ashas ba david family ba imiri de bali mukua e basa let us tune into the connect center we'll be right back shortly thank you so much libya hi my name is noella here at the connect center thank you for Come to the worship house and making worship house your church. Thank you everyone for coming for the sewing service on Saturday. People showed up in a great number. Thank you for giving. Your money will be used to build the church. May God richly bless you. On the 1st of April here at the worship house, we're going to have a primary school prayer day. All primary schools are invited here at the worship house at 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. You can register your school at the Connect Center to be part of the prayer day. Here at the worship house, we're having the four days of Easter. On Good Friday, we're having the overnight. On Easter Sunday, we're having the 100 people choir. And also on Easter Monday, we're having the 100 people choir. Make sure to take part in these events. The Marils will be having a fellowship here at the worship house on the 24th of March 2023 at 5 p.m. And they'll be launching their work plan for 2023. All married and young couples are invited. On the 28th of April, Pastor Justin, our pastor here at the worship house, is going to have a show at Serena Hotel. Even as we worship you today. Hi, I'm Eric Chirabo. Ben Ruha. By the grace of God, we lead the missionaries family at the worship house. We are here to invite each one of us. Aba ino muti mungo kubo lide njiri. Zoro kube ranga ya masomero, ya marualido, ya makomera, street, obo gena mbiyaro no obo lide njiri. We are here to invite you to join us this year to preach the gospel. And on that note, we'll be having um, our very first planning meeting uh, this Thursday at 4 p.m. Wanuku the worship house. Eh, mabe geri mugo downi. Jetugendo kuwele anga tutula. Tuja sanyu kanga tukula vieko mkama kuwa mkisa. That's all I had here at the Connect Center. My name is Noella. Bye. Thank you so much, the Connect Center. Yeah, thank you for the updates. Uh, I believe we are all ready with our tithes, with our offerings. If you are ready, I request you to stand up. I give you a second. Pick your offering. Get your tithe ready. Let us all stand up in the house of the Lord. I'm just waiting for someone who is still looking for their offering and their tithe is okay. Let us raise it up and we pray a blessing. As we pray, make sure you also declare a word. Father Lord, we are so much grateful for the provision that you have given us as your children. We are not complaining. We say thank you so much. And Lord God, you said that blessed is a hand that gives. This hand which is raising up the offering, which is raising up the tithe, may you bless it more and more. And Lord God, I pray for every hand that is giving. The Bible says that blessed is more giving than receiving. These people are giving in your house. May you ofukiride businesses are that they may sprout that they may enlarge their territories and they will lack where to put this beautiful blessing that you are giving them in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen if you'd like to be a part of what god is doing here at the worship house this is how to give for mtn mobile money 
The number is 0776-122-122. It's in the name of Wilson Bugembe. And if you'd like to use a merchant code for MTN, it is star 165 star 3 star 316 523 star. Enter the amount and then hash. For Airtel Money, the number is 0758-973-009. It's in the name of Wilson Bugembe. Airtel Merchant Code Users, you dial star 185 star 9 star 116 2616 star. You enter the amount and then hash. If you'd like to do a direct bank transfer, we have an account in Diamond Trust Bank. It's in the name of the Worship House. Uh, the account number is 015-106-200. One. For Opportunity Bank, the account number is 120-391-70-71111. It's also in the name of the Worship House. Thank you and God bless you.
Hi, are you worried about something? Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for anyone who is worried about something. Let you take away the worry right now. Fix it for him or her and give her faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Last week was very tough for me. I was so, so crying. I couldn't sleep. I was going through something because life can take. Hi, are you worried about something? Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for anyone who is Hi, are you worried about something? Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for anyone who is worried about something. Let you take away the worry right now. Fix it for him or her and give her faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Last week was very tough for me. I was so, so crying. I couldn't sleep. I was going through something because life can take a turn that you never expected. Somewhere, somehow, the Spirit of God made me to land on Matthew chapter 6 and verses 25. I'll read it for you quickly. The Bible says, That's why I tell you, do not worry about your life, whether you have enough to eat, drink, or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food, and your body more than clothes? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest, or store food in banks or barns. Your Heavenly Father watches over them and feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to Him than the birds? Can all your worries add a single hour to your life? And why worry about your clothes? Maybe you're not worried about clothes, you're worried about relationship, about your career, about your future, about your marriage. The Bible says, look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. Yet Solomon in his splendor was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for the wild the flowers, the grass that is here today and tomorrow it is cut and thrown into the fire, won't he certainly care for you? So don't worry about these things. Even the pagans, the unbelievers, all their thoughts are on these things. But your Heavenly Father knows that you need them too. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything will be added unto you. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow shall care for itself each day has its own worries. First Peter 5, 7, cast your burdens and your worries unto God, for he cares for you. Do not worry. Let's stand up on our feet. And let's sing this song of encouragement together because God knows it all and he cares about everything okay let's clap our hands to Jesus just tell your neighbor do not worry about anything for your God cares about it all
your burdens unto Jesus, for He cares for you. Cast your burdens unto Jesus, for He cares for. Cast your burdens. For he cares for you. Cast your burdens unto Jesus.
Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, 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 Lord. Do not worry. Please say hi to somebody on your left and on your right, then you may have your seat. Welcome to the 10 o'clock service. I always believe there is a special blessing. Come and clap for the choir. You were amazing. Today the choir was amazing. I believe there is a special blessing for people who come in rainy services. Eh? I believe so. Zikiriza tuwa luwa mkisa katonda kwa wababajia msavisi wezdi ezi jude mkuba. Even online family. Let's clap for the online family. Amen. I'll invite two people to, to I'll first invite Mr. Matayo's son. Please come. Yes, come. Yes. He's grown so tall. Oh my goodness. I saw you when you were not a human being. Now you're a human with, yeah, some height. Come on, let's give him a good welcome. This is his church. Yes, you should thank God. Uh, praise God, church. Uh, my name is Tugume Davis. I'm, uh, I was a student at Mengo Senior School. I'm doing PCM, stroke ICT. And I give glory to God that he enabled me to get 20 points. Yes, and uh, I told him when I get those 20 points, um, when I come to this place and get the opportunity, what I'll tell the church is that God has been faithful, and I've been able to say it faster. Can we all clap our hands and thank God for Davis? You'd, which course was that? PCM. PCM. Eh. And stroking what? ICT. 
ICT. Exactly my course. <laughs> Let's stretch hands. Lord, we are thankful. We pray that you also give him a great future. In Jesus' name. God is faithful. You may have your say. Eh. Amen. At Chambogo Fellowship, we had one lady who did... Who was there? Eh? She said what? Master of Science in... Hallelujah. I said she did Master of Science and Chemistry. They all laughed. It has to be in church, fully Jeremiah. Master of Science in Chemistry. Eh? And only two women graduated in Africa. One Nigerian and one the one we know at, in the fellowship. God is at work. <laughs> Amen. So, let's clap our hands to God. So, congrats, Davis. Congrats. Yeah, I have Junior. Junior here is my brother from another mother. Let's give him a warm welcome. Junior. So, Junior coming to church, it's raining. Good morning. Yes. So, let's give him a good welcome all the way from the UK. And these days, he's falling in love. He's falling in love with this place and with God. So, I saw him in the rains and I was like, ah, what is Junior doing at church in Mungkuba? So he says, I said, I'll give you three minutes. So everybody, three minutes, four minutes, Junior, he has something on his heart. Introduce yourself to the church, let them know you, and make him feel welcome, people. Uh -huh. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Nicholas Junior. I uh, came today to talk to you about something. I wanted to talk especially to the young people just to remind you that uh, even if you didn't get the results that you were expecting, you still have a lot of potential and that you can still make it very far. I told my story, I tell my story a lot, but I dropped out of university at the start of, no, at the, yeah, at the start of last year. And um, it was a terrible time for me. I didn't drop out by choice. But what I do realize now going through this period of time where I'm waiting to go back to school is that uh, there's a lot of really brilliant people, really, really brilliant people, really interesting and, and exciting people who often don't share a lot, you know? But it's really important to talk to everybody. You know, when you talk to Boda Boda people, you talk to your elders, you talk to people who are younger than you, just treat each other with respect. Uganda's beautiful, and uh, yeah. Amen. Did you understand his accent? How many of you, you got everything he said? Okay, you did good. Yeah. Let's pray for Junior. Come here, Junior. Let's stretch hands. Father. Father God, we know there is something great in this young man. They fired him that he could come here today even to encourage the young people with his story and also what you dropped in his heart. We know that we are about to see greatness in this young man. Thank you for Junior. We love you, Junior, and God loves you. Jesus name. Amen. Very humble. And Junior, Junior sings like, like an angel. For real. And he's so talented. You shall see him on Easter. Yes. I think Easter you guys will see a new, some new guys. Already you know Danny. So you will see a uh, You've had Gloria. Gloria, eh, Gloria is another thing. Amen. Remember, Sagala Bawa Nanyo, by Zokunyo Nonekako. Now, they are very, very talented people. On Easter, we are going to have 100 people on this stage. Imagine 100 choir, 100 people in a choir singing about the cross. Easter Sunday and Easter Monday, 7 o'clock. Amina, so prepare for that. We are going to, to call Easter the cross, and we are going to put crosses all over the campus. I believe that healings will even happen during Easter. Are you here in church? Entry shall be free. Amina, I want you to... 
to imagine this entire church full and we are singing about the cross. It's going to be powerful. Amen. However, the bad news is whoever comes late because we shall have to close the church because the church will be like a theater put screens everywhere so there is no way you can watch it outside. So you have to be inside. But the good thing is two days. Easter Sunday and Easter Monday. So if you kufika, you can come for Easter Monday. Amina, it's going to be powerful. I'm excited. And it's me personally training the choir. So it's going to be powerful. Why, why are you not part of the choir? You should be part of the choir. Amen? That guy sings so well too. So you're going to hear amazing voices here worshiping God. And then Good Friday, we have the Chambogo prayer wave. But then at 10, 8, we shall start the prayer overnight. There will be Holy Communion to Yakusula Wanoku Good Friday after Chambogo prayer fellowship. Then uh, till morning, there shall be candle lighting and there shall be Holy Communion. Agi Mohozi is organizing all this Easter weekend. It's, um, it's exciting. Now, um, I want you to show me that you are alive in church. Praise God. Now we have a testimony. We were looking for 1,000 people. If 1,000 people gave 100,000, that would be 100 million. And we were able yesterday, we are going to stand and thank God, we were able to raise 92 million cash. Let's clap our hands to God, people. Mukama, this is for you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, you may have your seat. Now, let me do what I did in the first service. Katunda tako ze sajet dene. Bowe inamwe kumi obetan. Jangu. Tuzi juze. Ziwerech kumi. If one million comes from this service and the other and the other, it will be 100 million by end of today. So, Bobo ina muetanu, obe kumi, obatu wa sobo de kuja, oba, please stand up, come, and fill it up. Now, obe demu basize, and God will bless you. Please come, come forward. God bless you, sir. Please come forward. To be only 8 million. Yes, sir. You can wait here, because I'm going to pray. Please come. Even now, obe ina etanu, please come. 50k. 20k. Amina, mtuale vidi, mtualo. Hey, join the, join the a thousand people. Join the a thousand people. Tuvuzayo only 8 million to raise 100 million. Isn't God good, Robert? God is good. We prayed. Sikena na bidda mwaba ntuvasa vye. Na mwaba ino mtualo vetano. Please join us. Yes, God will bless you. Yeah, when the church is sowing, you should sow. And we shall do it again on my birthday. Hope on 8th August. That will be the gift we will give to God. And that I think they will be doing the last pavilion. Now we immediately. Yes, we can, we can top it up. We can make it to 10 uh, to 100 million. Let's pray. Father God, Bless everyone that is helping to build this church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. You can plant your seed. And the Lord will bless you. Thank you, sir. You came first and you encouraged everyone. God bless you. Why don't we have another basket that we have to look for one basket? Who is the service manager now? That's not being organized. One more we can go here. We can go here. God bless you. God bless you, Aunt Winnie. Mm. God has blessed us. Amen. Baba neiba vakuwa yomgambe kuri kayonze vyanemi. Guys, can we clap for everyone who came to give? And who has just given. Even online church, we are yet to know how much the online gave. Uh, the only problem is, 
Only to do this and this, I had to borrow money. This cost 55 million. I bought like 25. Uh, this cost. So, so, Bovala Muziba Manja Amina Kumpi that is the way. So, Kubanga. So, Nasuze Bonavana, Nasuze Zivala Zigata Amina Bojako Gundia Manja, Gundia Manja, Wagundi Mwekwek, Wagundi Kolevi, Vinasuze Mwevio. Hallelujah. Because we, we have to do a pavilion here, which will take some like some good money. Then I'm avanja to do this. So we need to give more. We need to give more. It sounds big and we are grateful. We are not complaining. We have to be careful not to complain. Ninety two million is a lot of money because we cost we the cost of production, as the Holy Spirit told me, we used the three point five to print the cards. So three point five minus yeah, that's just the money we put in and then 92 million we need to kill up our hands to God and I'm hoping that what you gave today and uh, at the end of today or maybe end of the week we shall hit the target of 100 million now 100 million minus minus 65 in debt so you know the balance for the pavilion. Yes, you need to know these things. Kama eva zui. Nemo gule sate mpio gambe. Yee, lengira, lengira sente zafi. So literally na zote zama ze. Bojaka abatubanja. So abatubanja, I, I have a favor. Tuge nakuba wako. So that the pavilion works. I want by Easter, the, this pavilion to be good. So I pray for your patience. Uh, we shall pay you to get We are going to share, and then we shall be. We shall make sure we keep paying. I'll give you ko amina, so that the work continues. By next Sunday, I hope this entire place will change. To recall our another route, so next Sunday, all of you will use the other route because this entire place is going to be uh, under construction. That's why we borrowed money to finish this. So all of you this side will come to this side so that we can try fix that side. And by Easter, it better be done. So, whenever manja be kind, but I'll keep paying. I also have a testimony. After, after worship night, remember it rained so bad, we remained with a very big debt and we started to pay poly poly. Remember we had 25 days to do 31st. I want to thank God that that date is almost done. It was a big one. It rained and we didn't give enough. And this guy banja dinner. I think that we know call a 31st. And it was really, really bad. I want to thank God at least it is almost done. Either the date should be 10 million now. I pray for a day I will come here and declare the wash house debt free. And it will be a Thanksgiving service. And it will happen soon. Come on, people. It's God's faith. Praise God. Let's pray. Father God, here comes your word. Let it come with healing, with power. Thank you, Lord, for the words of encouragement from Davis, how you helped him to pass, and he says God is faithful. And thank you, Lord, for uh, Junior encouraging us. Even those that didn't make it, let them know it's not the end of the world and there is a lot of potential. Thank you, Father, for what you're doing in this place. Thank you, Father, for everyone who has made it through the rains, even those that are online. Please, God, bless them. In Jesus' name we pray. And God is people said. God is people said. Amen. Now, the entire week I've been reading Matthew 6, 25, and we all know it by now. Do not worry about your life. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow, they do not reap, but the Lord takes care of them. Now that part we are done. I just want to go to the last part. I tried to come up with a few testimonies of when I was worried and God came through for me. If time allows, I'll give you them. I'll give the testimonies. Now if you are paying attention, let me hear you say, Amen. Amen. So when I was going through pain, Bishop Punkata, our father, died. May his soul rest in peace. And that's when I was too much thoughts and, you know, we are human. 
and uh, life can ta- take a turn you didn't expect. But I looked at Mzee Nkata as he rested. It may sound funny, but if you've ever gone through pain, you may understand. If through serious pain. I looked at the dead man and I admired him. Quiet, still, calm. And if he has made it to heaven, he will never worry. He will never fear. He will not be anxious anymore. You can't tell a dead man that, hey, the landlady is calling. You can't tell a dead man, hey, your wife is divorcing. You can't tell a dead man that your marriage, the marriage of your daughter is shaking. Whatever worries living people, do not worry dead people. They do not. Someone who said they are dead. Say it. God will bless you. They are what? Toiza sanga mtu wa fude no mugamba. Hey, olabye nyo babla. Your obbies and ojis are doing so well. They are traveling the world. Gori wa no fude. When you are dead, you are dead. You are not scared. Especially if you've made it to heaven, Pastor Ben. And I want to tell you, it was so hurting that I admired this dead man. He's not feeling anything. Bishop Luele, when he visited Praises Authentic Church, he said, 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 Whatever you watch on the news does not bother him. Somehow a dead man knows everything will take care of itself. Your children, he will not come back. Oh, your ma- they are not worried. They are dead. Repeat, say they are dead. And then I remembered when I met Pastor Ocho. Pastor Ocho, Luganda, Ramalima. Amazemu Church, Mukampala, Emiaka, Abidi. Na yet, Omani Pastor Ocho. Pastor Ocho, Namsanga, Nangamba, eh, Pastor, I'm not in Sanjus of Kulava, eh. Eno mchala wange yafa. Nze? Atenga halina ye. Because tasobu la kukwata tenses together. He's saying my wife died. And he's, I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, oh, she died. She almost died and we prayed for her and she came back to life. So, yebu agenda gamba matu mchala wange no mjidaba ye yafa. I want you to understand that the Holy Spirit whispered to me and said, Wilson, I know how you feel. But I want you to know that even before you physically die, you can spiritually eh, die. The Bible says, for we died with Christ. Are you listening? Romans chapter 8, chapter 6 and verses 8. Scripture says, and since we died with Christ, we know we will live, we will also live with him. We are sure of this because Christ was raised from the dead and he will never die again. Death has no longer. I just want to pick the word since we died. Everyone read it. Say, and since we died with Christ. Uh-huh, we know we will also live with him. I want you to understand. The person that is saying since we died is alive. He is alive. But he says we died. Can you imagine? The day you gave your life to Jesus Christ, you died with him. And the Bible expects you to be dead in Christ. Only a dead man does not worry. I may preach to you the entire week, do not worry, don't worry. But it's hard. It's hard. I've been talking to people this entire week, people are encouraging me. Wilson, you spoke to my heart. This week, I've had people. I was watching the one minute prayer. Up, it's going to over 10,000 people. Everyone, how many of you have been blessed since you had this word? Do not worry. You is, Amen. Let's clap our hands to God. It comes with power. But I wish I can tell you that I've mastered it. Some nights are hard. Some days are hard. Some hours are good. Some hours are not. You will never master the art of not being worried. That's why the Holy Spirit was telling me the only way my children can live a worry-free life is by dying with Christ. 
Only a dead man will not be in competition and comparison. Only a dead man is resting in peace. Knowing that everything will be okay. The children will be fine. The marriage will be fine. The future will be fine. Even when you cry and you're a child because your father's died, he will never come back. Because he knows that tomorrow will take care of itself. Somewhere, somehow, the Lord who watches over the birds and the grass will watch over my children. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what is really, what does Paul mean by we died with Christ? I wish I can simplify it for you. But a dead man is not so bothered by what is happening on TV. A dead man is not so bothered by what's going on on the WhatsApp groups. A dead man is not bothered by the economy and the war going on. They are not, they are dead. Repeat after me, say they are dead. So when you die with Christ, you live a worry-free life because you died with Christ. I'll show you a picture on the screen. Look at a farmer. A farmer who takes his seeds to be planted in soil. Look at these seeds. These seeds are very healthy. Maybe it is it's maize, corn. Maybe it is uh, uh, beans. Seeds. These seeds are very alive. But when you bury them, they have to die. They have to rot. And after they accept the rotting process, then look at the other, leave the seeds, look at the other trees, the other flowers or whatever plant it is, look at it. You will never germinate until, unless you die first. We know we got over here. We are still taking it up. Until you die, if I'm talking to you, say amen. When you don't die, you can't grow. You can't germinate. I can show you a verse in, 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 in Corinthians. The Bible says, a seed that refuses to go and die will never grow. A seed that refuses to germinate, you can show it to me. A seed that refuses. I tell you the truth. The what? Talk to me. The what? The what? The truth. Unless a seed, please look for my Bible version. Most assuredly, I said to you, unless a seed of wheat falls into the ground and dies. And does what? And dies. It remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain. Pastor, sina bitegera. Sigamenti ogende ofe, ogende we tuge. Nimukukugamba, you must behave like a dead man in Christ. Whereby you know a dead man is not so worried about stuff. Jesus is saying you can die with me and you can be worry free. You know that tomorrow God will take care of it. Somebody talk to me and say amen. God will take care of it. Now let us come back to life. How can a man die with Christ? As I was trying to look for a simpler example, I remembered a woman in my village. This woman, she had a problem. Her son was a thief. And when the son was caught, they set him on fire. We were very young. Maybe I was eight or ten. They got this son. The entire village was shouting, kill him, kill him. The mother was dying with him. Am I preaching to somebody? And the mother was a friend to my mother. And I remember it when she used to say, That's what happens to believers. On the cross, you die with him. 
kati mwaba taku wangalo muti mwomubi guwajiba na on the cross you die with him bible ya gambetia unless a seed dies it will not grow unless you die in some areas of your life you will not see germination I will use an example of when I asked for the visa to go to London, to go to America. Those guys denied me visas. I think at some point they started to enjoy it. Woo! Every time I tried to ask for a visa, how they gladly refused me. I remember there was a day I was even called to meet the consular, the visa consular. Mukwanu kwa ngeyangamba manjiji asula. There is nothing I didn't do. But at the back of my mind, I was also running away from Uganda. So somehow they were right. AC had entered me. Ah, Obambuli Ramuala, Obankola Chief Sida. They denied me visa until I died in wanting so much a visa. And I remember the last time after death, somebody said after death. Now, are you with me? They called me for a visa and I said, nah. Why? Of course I know the answer. They're going to deny me a visa. Then my host began to be angry. We sent you the invitation. You should go. I'm like, we all know. I'm not worried about visa anymore. And guess what? My host was so pissed that I went. And I remember how I answered the consular. This time, I was not careful what I say, how I walk. You know when you are, you are still alive, you plan everything, how do you walk? You smile since you enter the gates. Bagamba cameras, vazi kulaba. So no matter what you talk about, you visa, you will be able I did all that, it didn't work. Hallelujah. And I remember the, con- the consul asked me, the, 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 the lady, every time we were talking about, what do you want to come to me? What do you want to come to me? What do you want to there's a time I even fasted and said, I went with David Benjamin. We said, after this fasting, we are not going to ask for the visa. We are going to get our visa. And when we reached there, they denied us. <laughs> when you are still alive, you are trying to make every relationship work. It will work the day you die. <laughs> You are still very alive. Hallelujah. Come on. Am I, am I still communicating? Only a dead man will not worry. When you are alive, you will still be worried. And I remember the consul asked me, so hi, hi, how are you good? Where are you going? London. Are you coming back? Yes. Uh, who has worked on it? I was so relaxed. So relaxed. I know the answer. It's, it will still be a no. And the guy starts to ask me, so you were a pastor? I said, yes. At that age? I said, yes. I would like to come and see that church that is pastored by a child. You are indeed a child. You can't pastor me. I said, no, no. So you sure you if you go you'll come back? Yeah, come. Okay, come get your visa. And I was like, thank you. Are you not happy? I'm very happy. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's even time we were taking one and never gamba. Please, but we the visa to be cool one. Kubanga tuwa bikuri ranga wone tufu mabali. Olo msaji ya liatu unze mwanyize. Nenyumba ya agenda wene wama visa ya vuma. Badame bagiru obuzungu. Bagire mitwele. Ndoza kwe ya vake teka. Tuwa bikuri ranga wane. 
until you die. Let me say something here. That day you stop to want it so much, you'll get it. <laughs> Hallelujah! That day you stop trying to be the God of your wife. That day you stop trying, stop trying to be the God of your husband. Why? You are everything. You are the protection. Aliwa, alinani, akolaji. Mukubi desimu. Sawa mega. Oliwa. That day you stop being the God of your children. You shall live a worry-free life. I remember when I was talking to Mrs. Damba. You know Mrs. Damba. She's she has boys, Mark and Jacob and. One day we were having a conversation and we were enjoying it. Nothing ambave chambo go prayer wave. Nino kranga mchala damba tandiko. Nimiana yebu ali. Eh, musumba yebu. Nimuga mami chichi. Mutapani wanga nimiana muala joy. Nimuga kakati ali wasa gwe. At some point, you need to die. And say, Mukama, abana bali mchubuga, semanyi jebali, semanyi gwe banyimiana ye, but I give them to you. Have you ever seen a dead man? Even when you cry, he will not respond. Even omulambo ni mungu gamba mkuwa nungata wanyu mie, ngata wanyu mie dama chime kapu, tegufaye. Na yemu ni mtu wachira likila, nyamba dechi, mtu usentia, ni muka goyechi, tereze linyari yange, ze trish, ze trish, haba ntupa ina kansa, gwe viko nalikiliza linyari yote vali tereze, ze trish, ze trish, mbori temako kati ze patu, kati ze lisa, you must rest in Christ. You must rest in Christ. Otherwise, the cycle of worrying will never stop. I'll end the service in 10 minutes. Because of the rain, every service is 30 minutes late. Someone say, Amen. So, do not worry. Louder. The Lord who watches over the birds, he will watch over you. I'd like to say, as I close this service, a few testimonies of how God has come through for me after you die. One day that I will preach until I'm gray hair. That I'll never forget. I wrote three testimonies to give the church today. One day I received a call. Actually, the very first church we started when he died. He died. Batu we balua. Bangamba. Wilson, a yanguano, mukampa lochi me baluayo. I picked a letter, and the letter was saying that church is built in power lines. It should live. Oh. We are poor. We don't know what next. So many times in life you shall meet a place called now, what's next? And what's next belongs to God. And I remember, I'll save you the details, but I remember I had tried to borrow some money to buy that land, and the banker told me, I remember my friend that I know in the bank, she called me and she said, Wilson, I apologize. The bank has not released money. Game over. I was driving my car. I remember it. Rav 4. I was coming from home. Chiwatre. I packed it on the side because I could not feel my legs. Because we had a deadline. If we didn't pay on that deadline, it was over. And this is about three, four days to go. I packed, I bowed my head, and right there, 
my wisdom, my talents, my creativity, my ideas, my contacts, done. And I said, Lord, it ends here. From there, I don't want to see anyone call me pastor. Hallelujah. Thank God I'm a musician. I'm done. After two hours, I receive a call again. And someone says, Wilson, we the workers in this bank that are Christians have decided to stand in for you. At the risk of our jobs, we'll release the money. And we have signed that if you, he doesn't pay, we lose our jobs. Please pay. Because our jobs are on the line. And I picked the money and we paid on 98th day. And before that day, we, I got a dream. Some lady, friend of mine, I dreamt her giving me 50 million. Because the bank gave me 90. I had saved some. And I needed 50 in three days. And I met that lady and I told her in the morning, I could all say, I'm going to 50 million. And she said, only God would know that because I sold my property yesterday. And she said, in the dream she told me, 40, you'll pay it back without interest. 10 is for the church. She told me, wait tomorrow at 10 a.m. Genda kwa kashia bank. Bwezi wena sawa nyanga situse. Banyamu kama ya gani. Tonkubi la simu. Tonkubi la simu. Since I took a listen, I took a whole sour and gave me to turn. Bible says, like a rainy born, a rainy day, the Lord will appear to you. I saw the woman coming to me. I was with Ruth Bale. So the original church we started in Akavugo died. This one that can raise 92 million is not mine. This is God. Five minutes. Another testament that has rocked this week, if you are listening to me this week, is my friend who came here hopeless, giving up on God. And she says, when I was preaching, I said, even strangers will call you child. Fast forward, you've heard the story. She stopped a car full of whites. And that came, Miriza. this man, the white man, adopted her. She now travels the world. She's a child of a muzungu. A motoka Miriza by accident. accident. The last testimony that I thought about was Ruth Bale. She came to me thinking she has cancer in her breast. And I told her, by faith you have served God. There will be no cancer in that body. And miraculously, it disappeared. <clears throat> Everywhere I look in this church, I see testimony. Let me see your hand. If since you came here, your life has turned around. You've seen miracles. Hashem the devil. How about you stand up on your feet and clap for every miracle God has done in your life. For every good thing God has done for you. Now I want you to bow your head. And show God every area of your worry in a prayer. Do not worry. God will sustain you. Do not worry. 
May the Lord give you the peace. Resting in Christ. Knowing that he will watch over you. And we are going to sing this song, I surrender. I mean, you don't have to worry. And we are going to sing it over you. You just need to rest like a dead man. Like a seed that dies. That day you stop trying to get married so bad, <laughs> you'll get married. That day you stop trying to be the protector, the provider of your family. That Let God be God. Let the porter be the porter. Let the clay be the clay. Please lift up your hand. But I know where I did it day. Mukama again at Chico Jira over in your eyes. I also want to say this thing over you. One day I was so, so worried. Those bathrooms were still there. I want to watch a little bathroom. I remember I was some years ago. I went. Do you know me? Katunda wa gambi de chigambo jukilao. Abamu kumetoli era vida service end. Kubacho nech kwe dali kiliza. God is going to handle it. I was in that bath. I went to that bathroom. Zijukilao. Toys are zichi ali wali wali. Nempi na daromu tanga ntu usoni. Choti dete chiri yo. So Nagin could Nizira Mucha Naurira, Choti De Techiri. You don't have to worry, close your eyes, and not to be afraid. Joy comes in the morning. I want you to receive this song. And if your heart is broken, just lift your hand. I know. Yes, you can make it. My life is in your hand. With Jesus, I can stand it. With Jesus, I can take it. With Him, I know I can stand. No matter what.
hands. Bovano katonda kwerekere. And whatever bothers you and worries you. There is someone here, I feel in my spirit, you are going to get a very good job in the next 10 days. A very good job. A very good job. May you rest in the Lord. He will watch over you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please give five people, five people, a high five and tell them, do not worry. Someone shout hallelujah. God bless you. Have a blessed week. goodness and mercy follow you. May you be blessed in the city and be blessed in the field. This service here was designed and anointed for you. Therefore expect miracles as you go out. We hope to see you again next time and please don't forget to come with a friend. May God bless you.